from the Cincinnati Art Museum. My name is Alex Audie Callen, and I work in the Rosenthal Education Center at the Cincinnati Art Museum. And today, I thought I'd teach you how to make your very own DIY stamp pads. Stamping is a super fun activity that can be used for different types types of art making. There are all different things you can have in your home that you can use as stamps, but you need a stamp pad. And I don't know about you, but I don't have any stamp pads at home. So I came up with this fun activity that allows you to have a reusable stamp pad. So what you're gonna need are a couple of clean kitchen sponges. I had a few under my sink. And you're gonna need some kind of resealable plastic container. So I have a deli meat container here that would work. It has to have like a sealable lid. You can use Tupperware uh, if you wanted to. Um, but for this project, I'm using this dog food container. Baby food containers would work also, but I thought this was the perfect size for a stamp pad. So you can make as many as you want, as many colors as you want, uh, as long as you have those colors in paint. So the paint I'm using, we're going to use a washable paint. So that's a tempera paint, finger paint. Um, this is just plain old kids washable paints. Um, you're going to want to use some of that. You're going to need some scissors and a pen and that's all you need to make your own reusable stamp pads so follow along pretty much your first and only step is cutting down the sponge to fit snugly into the container so you're going to trace the bottom of the container on the sponge with a marker or felt tipped pen and then cut out the sponge if you have a hot glue gun at home, you can add a couple dabs of hot glue to the bottom of the sponge to affix it into the container. Then you're going to take your washable paint and cover the sponge. You want to add a lot of paint because it needs to soak into the sponge. You can let it sit or take a paintbrush to incorporate the paint into the sponge. Now your stamp pad is ready for use. For this demonstration, I also made a purple stamp pad. So there are lots of things you have around your house that you can use as stamps. You can experiment with pretty much anything. Using a wine cork, an apple slice, and even cut down a potato. There are lots of great resources online showing different ways to make stamps at home. Here I'm even using uh, some of the leftover sponge. Now, the reason I made a stamp pad is because I had an idea for making a special letter for my mom for Mother's Day. So here in a minute, I'm gonna show you my Mother's Day project. How can you use your stamp pads to make a special project for your mom? so much for joining me today for cam do please check back next friday at 2 p.m for a new cam do video i'd love to see the artwork that you make with your new stamp pads so please post some pictures in the comments below i'd also like to wish a happy mother's day to all you moms and mother figures out there my book recommendation for the week is my very favorite mother's day book the classic the runaway bunny by margaret wise brown illustrated by clement hurd it is a beautiful book with beautiful illustrations and there is a link to a YouTube reading of the book um, in this post. Thanks again for joining me. See you next week. Bye!